and mute myself. Oh my goodness. Hello. Hello, everybody. everybody. <laughs> so can you all hear us? I hope everyone can okay, hear yeah. us. <laughs> so we just want to acknowledge that um, as visitors were uh, um, tunneling in or funneling in, um, we witnessed Cy D's performance artwork and what a wonderful hypnotic performance it was. It gave me like spa like vibes <laughs> very relaxing very calming on this eve um awesome. amazing well hi everyone um welcome to the closing event uh for our exhibition feasting fools at the foot of the mountain um we're so excited to be here with you all and share this digital space or non-space together um first off we'd like to thank you all for being here uh to celebrate the works of the exhibiting artist as well as for supporting the hatch during this strange time of online exhibitions and social isolation um we just like to remind people to view the show if you haven't so whether you've been following along with the show or you just showed up tonight to support your friends um we'd like to encourage you to visit our website at some point to view the extended versions of the artist's works um we'll post the links in the chat later and you can find more info on all of our social media channels um, and then a little announcement, Yelena's uh, work, Imaginary Present, um, is going to have postcards that we'll be sending out after the show. So she'll be mailing those out and they're going to be versions of our poster works to people attending tonight. Um, and we'll also be posting the link to sign up for that in the chat below. Um, and then before we get into our scheduled programming for the night, we'd like to take a moment to acknowledge the land that we're situated on and ask you all to reflect with us on where you are in the world and your relation to the people whose land you're on. So as the directors of the space this year, we'd like to respectfully acknowledge the Hatch Art Gallery is situated on the traditional ancestral and unceded territories of the Musqueam people. We as a team are dedicated to unpacking how it is that institutions like the University of British Columbia, the Alma Mater Society, as well as the Hatch Art Gallery have and continue to contribute to the erasure of indigeneity through colonial violence. We also acknowledge that acknowledgements within themselves are not enough in order to show solidarity to the process of decolonization and can be seen as an empty promise. Um, we as a team are dedicated to counteracting these formalities by engaging in discussions of decolonial praxis and moving through artistic spaces as guests upon this land. Um, so we just like to acknowledge that James, uh, Sai and Yelena and I are all streaming from so-called Vancouver, which is the unceded land of the Squamish, Salatooth, and Musqueam Coast Salish nations. Um, one of our artists, Mel, is currently streaming from the Gold Coast in Queensland, Australia. Um, we'd like to speak our acknowledgements to the Yugambe people and all Torres Strait Islander peoples, the traditional inhabitants of the land, and pay respects to the elders past and present. Um, and then Elio, Beth, and Mia are currently in the Coyoacan, um, where Elio Beth grew up, which is now within the boundaries of Mexico City. Mexico City is the oldest indigenous founded capital city in the Americas with a rich history of arts and culture and is located in the valley of what used to be Lake Texcoco. We'd like to respectfully and acknowledge the founding Aztec people, which uh, was made up of many different nations and cultural groups, as well as pay our respects to the people living there today who are creating. Um, so finally, this year, as we primarily have functioned online, um, we've been grappling with the questions of what it means to exist online as a meeting point between the art and artists we represent and viewers at home. So what does it mean to be presenting online in relation to, to the land in which our physical bodies take up space? How can we continuously engage with conversations of decolonization in regards to online spaces? And although these digital spaces are non-physical, who are they made for and how can we challenge and subvert those boundaries? So those are some things we've been thinking about this year. Um, as we take up space online and just we encourage you all to also think about that um, as you're participating in these events and kind of the spaces you're taking up. Um, so I'm going to switch over to James, who's going to introduce the uh, show and give a little bit of context and then we'll introduce this artist and see where we go from there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God, Reiko, that was just <laughs> that was so eloquently worded and beautifully written. Thank you for that. Um, I guess I'll begin by reading the show statements to help like situate what we're kind of doing with this event. So, Feasting Fools at the Foot of the Mountain begins by referencing the 1973 surrealist fantasy, The Holy Mountain by Chilean filmmaker Alejandro Jodorowsky. The film follows the journey of 10 characters who decide to embark on a spiritual quest towards the Holy Mountain where they will encounter mystics who grasp onto the secrets of enlightenment led by the thief who represents the fool card in tarot. This group of eccentric characters undergo various trials leading towards enlightenment. 
Once they pass enough of these trials, the group comes to the foot of the holy mountain. There, they are sidetracked by the Pantheon Bar, where others who abandon their spiritual journeys engage in hedonistic pleasures of consumption, party, and poetry. The climbing of the holy mountain is revealed as a ruse. The mystics are dummies, and the mountain is a mountain. The Fool card in tarot is symbolic of fresh beginnings, exciting new potentials, and the wonderment of the unknown. The Fool indicates an urgency to, lead, to leap into new adventures and explore the revolutionary potential that faith in the unknown carries. The artists in the exhibition embody the Fool card. They explore the usages of manifestation, fortune telling, and introspection as a form of sustenance in a time where intimacy is challenged by isolation. These fools invite viewers to have fun, explore, and play with the magic of their lives. However, when the fool card is reversed, it offers up a warning. The reversed fool indicates fear of the, unlo of the unknown, recklessness, and misguidance. The fools ask how magic can sustain us, but they're also considering how faith in magic can be ungrounding or emptying. The show critically analyzes new media spirituality which has gained popularity on social media platforms like Instagram and YouTube. Through jest and hyperbole, the fools poke at the dangers of the spoon-fed spirituality. They begin to consider where the spiritual can go sideways, where it can be co-opted by the logics of capitalism from which it is meant to free us. Feasting fools at the foot of the mountain oscillates between the upright and reversed fool. It explores the region between the states of wonderment and caution. If magic can offer us potential to revolt against the linear logic of capitalism, what are the dangers of letting it take us elsewhere? What is lost in the translation of spiritual practices to the contemporary moment? When we reach the foot of the mountain, do we faithfully climb or reverse back like a fool? So that was just a little bit of like the ideas that the show, <laughs> um, is engaging with. with. <laughs> and again, if you haven't seen all of the works, we would highly urge you to do so on the Hatches website. Um, we will put all the links in there later. But anyways, now I would like to, um, <laughs> I would like to introduce the artists and just like read their bio statements a little bit. So who we just saw perform first was Saidi and she is a Vancouver-based artist. Her practice is mainly concerned with reimagining space through drawing, performative gestures, digital interface, and everyday materialities. Her works often engage with counter or other narratives through allegorical texts and acts. Um, the performer that we'll be seeing next is Melanie Friedman, who is an Australian-based Canadian writer, performance artist, and medical student. Using poetry and performance, she explores embodiment practices as a means of building resilience. And then after that, um, Yelena Markovic is a writer, performance artist, and PhD candidate in philosophy at the University of British Columbia. Her research and art practice focus on transformative experience, body memory and awareness, grief, and illness. Um, so those are the three artists who will be performing and um, all of their works have been shown for the last two weeks on our website and socials and stuff. But tonight there are two special guests joining us all the way from Mexico City who will be doing the DJ set portion of the night as well as the, the visuals of the dance party. So first off, we have Elio Beth Aguilar Vasquez. And he began his disc jockey career in 1995, playing house music at clubs and parties in and around Mexico City and coastal Mexico, USA, Spain, and Canada. His mix of tech and progressive house is rhythmic, melodic, and moves the dance floor. Ooh. <laughs> he thrives on recordings of artists such as G-Pal, Time Writer, Subski, Terry Lee Brown, and record labels such as Plastic City, Buzz and Fly, Vapor, Focus, and Extrema. So we're going to be hearing mixes from a lot of those artists and record labels later. And then joining him is Mia Glanz, who is an artist living in Mexico City, 
or living between Mexico City and Vancouver. Working with photography, video, text, ethnography, and collage, her work attends um, to material culture as an exploration of personhood and social conditions. She's interested in the truths of fiction, of women on the periphery and the concept of home. Nia has a degree in anthropology and plant biology from the University of British Columbia and studied photography at Emily Carr University of the Arts and Design. She's exhibited at Tech de Monterey in Mexico City, as well as Odd City Spirits in the Richmond Art Gallery in Vancouver. And then Society Visual Music is the artistic collaboration between the two of them, also based out of Mexico City. The project combines the mediums of electronic DJ set and video installation for the purpose of creating a new and immersive experience out of the collection of familiar materials. Society of Visual Music broadcasts live on the last Thursday of each month. It begins at 9 p.m. Mexico City time. And we'll provide all of the links to that. Later in the performance? In the, in the chat box, I suppose. Um, so that's the intro of the show and the artist. And I would also quickly like to break down what we're going to be experiencing tonight. <laughs> so, um, First, we will, or I guess first we viewed size performance, but that was like just what we were waiting for y'all. And then after that, we will be viewing performances by Melanie Friedman, followed by another one by Yelena. And then after the individual performances, we will be hosting a collaborative and audience interactive group activation. <laughs> which we hope that you all partake Please in. Please participate, it'll be really yeah. fun. We'll, we'll talk more about we'll that when we get to that later. part. Um, so like, don't worry about it yet. But after that, we'll be passing the torch over to me and Elio for the dance. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, okay, well, Amazing. that concludes my, like- Our spiel. Like, most of my speaking <laughs> tonight. Um, and I think we will pass it on with that to Mel. Unmute, how do we do this? Is she unmuted? Okay, can, um, can you hear me?
Can everyone hear me? Here is the philosophy of Reddit Nietzsche. Reddit Nietzsche says, the Buddha is a hero. Jesus is a hero. Mao was a hero. We all want to be heroes. I'm a little imperialist and I long to impress myself into space time till the curvature of reality itself forms a golden dome around me. Me, 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 me. Reddit Nietzsche has a pyramid and we're all inside. It's a nervous system phenomenon imprinted in the blood. At the top of the pyramid is the good man, the successful man. There is only one man, really. Everyone else is a loser. The great rallying cry of man, yes the cry of cosmic significance, the cry to seize the symbolic order, to wrench the great disco ball of value and glint its tiny mirrors on me. Me, me, me. It's not a shame to be limited, for with the limited, you can fit yourself around the unlimited. The limited is a basin whose waters ripple to the sounds of the unlimited. The limited is a cup whose contents can be knocked over by a careless fool because you can never guarantee anything to the limited. Here is the philosophy of neoliberal wellness, the hero's journey for her. Everyone take responsibility for themselves. People are diseased with bad thoughts. You can create your own peaceful world. Learn to self-regulate. Learn to self-regulate. Find strength to function. Find strength to function. I was bad. Will it be okay? I was bad. Will it be okay? A scientist could write down my thoughts from birth to death, but he could not write down. If there was a machine that we could program to assimilate my mind, the machine could not operate. It is that I want. I want to keep thing. Ever I try to hold on, but I can't lose so I hardly understand it. I love, or I would if I could relate to it. I keep thinking I can relate to and that that relation could be going well or poorly, yet 
is inescapable. I'm a magician. Under one of these three cups, I've placed God. Look carefully. Now watch as I shuffle the cups. Are you watching? Take a guess. Where is God now? When I think of God, I draw a blank. The blank is a curtain. Behind the curtain, well, there is no such thing as behind the curtain. If you concentrate hard, the thought of God becomes a brick wall. Which side of the wall are you on? Amazing. Hello. Can everyone hear me? Did. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we are having a moment technical difficulty on our side, but um, thank you for that. Well, so what everyone just watched was Melanie's performance followed by Yelena's performance. Those were amazing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I think from here, this, oh, we had also a couple questions in the chat, but I didn't know how to answer them. Mel, is there a title for your piece? It's Evolution 3. Oh. <laughs> Evolution 3. And if you want to see number one and two, check out the Hatch website. Those are one of the pieces. Um, mm -hmm, please mm -hmm. take a look at those. Um, and then I guess also, Yelena, does your work, work have, have a, title a title also? Or no? <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> That's okay. Sai, did yours did your piece also have a title? Um, don't know yet. <laughs> That's okay. Untitled. Works don't need titles. We don't need titles here. Um, okay. Amazing. Yeah. Well, we are gonna take a little shift. Mm -hmm. Um, and we're gonna move into the more participatory section of this event. Yeah. So James is going to explain and we're going to ask you all if you're willing to participate to go grab a text that's near you. Mm -hmm. So that can be a book, that can be a, a cereal box, that can be it can a, literally just, like, anything, any it, sort of textual thing around you. If you could go grab something, um, that would be wonderful. Mm -hmm. For those of you who have your cameras off, if you want to put your cameras on, if you don't feel comfortable, that's okay. Um, we have another way that you can participate if, even if your camera's off. But um, should we give a moment yeah. of time for people to go grab a thing? Yeah. Okay. How should we do this? Should I switch the raise hand thing? Yeah. Sorry. Okay. So I think how we're going to, because I want to add structure to this and I want to give everyone a chance to. Uh, like designate whether or not they want to participate i don't yes. want to force everyone to do it so if you want to participate can you like raise, raise your, your hand. hand if you are willing all you have to do is you'll be reading okay wait not in real life on on the oh. on the, <laughs> the, little like raise, the raise hand function would be great if everyone could raise their hand and the little can you make a speakers list? um sidebar yes i'm going to make a quick speakers list wait, I need to turn. so if you could raise your hand on the little oh that's Perfect, except I think they disappear. I'm gonna quickly make. Oh, shit. Sure. Um, okay. Oh my God, wait. Yes, on the sidebar. So in your, by your name, if you could click the more button and raise your hand. Yes, that's perfect, that's great. If you could just keep those little blue hands raised. I'm gonna make an order of speaking list. Mm -hmm. um, awesome, 20 guys. I promise <laughs> it'll make more sense later. Okay. Okay. Kiel and Yasmin, do you want to participate back to back? Yeah, okay, I'm going to just put your names next. Um, Yasmin. Oh no, okay. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my god, wait, everyone's names are okay, going Okay, it's everywhere. okay, it's okay. Here, I'll, I'll copy Shield. and paste it. Yasmin. Shield, Yasmin, Daniel. Here. Um, who did I miss? Cameron. Yes, we got that. Nandia. Nandia. Um, I'm going to put the artists all in there because I'm assuming you're all participating. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Okay, Chippo. Yeah, Margaret. Chippo and Margaret want to join. Stephanie, are you joining? Steph. Um, all you need to participate is for your audio to work. NUS and, and we're gonna. David, are you joining? Anyone else joining? Maggie, Celine, Anna, Ali, no. Would Mia and Elio, would either of you like to join or? Up to you, it's totally fine, no pressure. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put our names in. Yeah, put our names in. We're, we're going to be doing a group like reading participation thing. So we've loosely titled it Bibliomancy, which is loosely the like, magic of like books, books and like text, reading texts and words. stuff and so kind of this practice is like an intertextual exercise that we're hoping to do with everyone and so what we are going to do is we're doing like a little speaker list um and we're going to put the order in the chat so you know kind of who's right before you and who's after you um and everyone's going to go grab a text again it doesn't have to be a book it can be uh literally like the back of a box from mm -hmm. something that you consumed. I don't know. Honestly, and, like, uh, if they're not books, um, that's like that's, more interesting. That's interesting. And basically what we're gonna do is in the order, you're gonna just choose a random sentence, like open the book, choose one sentence, um, and just read off that one sentence. It can be long, it can be short, um, however much you feel, but just choose off a thing. And then it's going to go to whoever's immediately after you, um, and then just kind of go through. So each time it comes around to your name, just like open, flip to something, and just like read off, share something. Again, it can be as short as long. So does that sort of make sense? We're gonna put an order. If I forgot anyone, message me, but I'm gonna put the order in the thing. Um, Mia, Elio, do you wanna participate or should I put you at the end? Okay, put Elio. Okay. <laughs> Just Elio. Or Mia, I can't tell. Or is this Mia? I think it's Mia. Okay, okay it's Mia. Okay. okay, I just put an order in the message. Mm -hmm. Did I forget? If I forgot you, just add your name to the bottom. Mm -hmm. Does anyone else want to participate? No? Yes? Because they don't want to like leave anyone out. Okay, <laughs> cool. So if everyone wants to like, grab a book, that would be good. We'll give you like two minutes, like a minute, a minute to go grab. Yeah. I'm going to go grab a book. I need to grab a book. We're going to go so. grab a book and then we're going to start. So we're going to start with Alger in a second. Yeah, Is there any sense. other questions? Because you also can just put on your mic and ask me a question if you are confused, because I probably explained that terribly. Here, just like, I'll explain it. Okay. When I go I'm going to go grab a book. Oh my God, what do I read? Should I? I should read like Can you raise a love? Yeah, okay. Oh, I love your oh, oh where you are. This is this is okay. Oh my god, I'm so I don't know what to read. What's funny? Uh I'm reading this on early end. <laughs> oh my god. You can grab multiple things also if you want. Yeah, so um is everyone good yeah just to reiterate um the order of like the speakers is posted in the chat right now it'll go alger pamela daniel keel yasmin hando nandia yelena side mel chipo margaret steph james Rako, and mia and like we're not and like and like each speaker is just gonna like Flow like, from the next just event. talk. So just kind of. Oh, Elio. Oh, and Elio, I guess Elio, Elio will be right, right after, after Mia. Yeah. That's perfect. Um, um, 
and then like each person will just like start Hopefully speaking start speaking when the other person stops speaking and just read like one or two sentences don't read like an entire like novel, novel. we don't want to hear that <laughs> no just but it's interesting to see like what narratives come from like I guess activating all of these texts together, together. through yeah. this digital space and yeah it's sometimes referred to as bi bibliomancy which reminds me of a lot of different forms of magic but anyways <laughs> <laughs> is um, everyone ready to begin <laughs> are we good yeah okay i'm gonna assume everyone has a text um okay so if you're if you're participating i guess you can unmute yourself but just like don't talk over each other <laughs> um perfect and then i'm gonna remove the spotlight oh my god someone just joined oh my god derek chang is here that's so funny okay i'm screaming all right, Alger, are you ready to start us off? I can't hear you. Should we use my computer? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Perfect. <laughs> May you please repeat the list one more time? Of who um, okay, it's it's in the chat. Um, so you can just keep, if you pop up, open the chat, you can see it. You don't have to remember it. Um, but Here, yeah, I'll Alger, Pamela, down. Daniel, Kiel, Yasmin, Hendo, Nandia, Yelena, Sai, Mel, Shifo, Margaret, Steph, James, Reiko, Mia, Elio. Yeah. All right. And we'll go unmute that, like, ourselves now. What's that? Shall we all unmute my, uh, ourselves now? Yeah, maybe yeah. unmute yourself when you get like close to your turn or whatever. Um, but yes. Um, and hopefully after a few rounds, we'll get a better flow and it will not be so broken up, but yeah. All right, Alger, whenever you're ready, you can start us off. How much do you want us to read? However uh, much, like however one much. sentence, couple sentences, stands up. Okay. Oh my God, so weird. Uh, pretty good workout. My legs were sore from biking to school. These variations what to overlook. Inability to comprehend spoken speech. Inability to do number calculations. First stage of oh, I'm on mute. The first stage of dealing with an emotional loss is often marked by shock and denial. You may find yourself thinking, why me? Why did it have to happen now? If only the doctor had. There is no way to know how to develop your work. Two continuous line. The recognition of being inseparable from the pain and unable to detach oneself from it. The recognition that it is not physically external exacerbates the kind of alienation that I am interested in here. I've wondered if places for things like me can exist. I paw with all nine limbs. Even the Leaving the pressure of choice aside, I love not knowing what I'm going to get. The thrill of surprise and tasting something for the first time. Then let me ask you to consider further whether the world would ever be induced to believe in the existence of absolute beauty rather than of the many beautiful or of the absolute in each kind rather than of the many in each kind. Life from the start is impossible to define. But she vanished from his sight, and he became dumb as one that is bound under a spell, and he strayed long in the woods, wild and weary, as a beast seeking for her. How strange it would be, I thought, if this man were to breathe his last with me by his side. Anne halted immediately to look at her in bewilderment. What exactly are you doing here, ma'am?
Thank you very much. All right. Because the play, I am supporting in Marcana. Oh, oh. Uh, we just uh, we're going to going. keep looping it a was, few times. <laughs> it was an all right race. Haven't run in months, so yeah. <laughs> they meet and kiss, disrobe each other, pour water down each other's throats, and dump buckets of it over each other's heads. When asked to draw a clock face, left side of the clock face is not drawn. Left sided astereognosis. Maybe a variety of reasons why you have been un unable to completely forgive your parents. For some people, the inability to forgive goes hand in hand with the desire to feel sorry for themselves. Major seventh, dominant seventh, flat seven, minor seventh, flat three, flat seven, minor seventh, diminished, flat three, flat five, flat seven, diminished seventh, flat three, flat five, double flat seven. Dot hashtag. Dot dot hashtag hashtag dot 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 hashtag 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 dot 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 Leap of faith arrow opens you up in a new space dissolve boundaries Substitute experience for house and no other word need be changed So you have to 描述遗嘱人物中我对一切的最软弱的部位,判决我,我不需要剩下这一切,哪怕第三,第四,加法和惩罚。Unhappy lysosomes wonder why others are able to create and they cannot. Forgive me for stating the ridiculously obvious. The last extreme of popular liberty is when the slave bought with money, whether male or female, is just as free as his or her purchaser. Daphne? Daphne? <laughs> You're on mute. You're mute. Yeah, uh, we couldn't hear you. Okay. Sorry. Read something. I read it. Okay, I'll read it again. <laughs> Um, many have tried, draw can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Many have tried drawing up lists of essential characteristics like growth, metabolism, movement, and reproduction, only to stumble over exceptions. Here once was light, but the Valar begrudged to Middle Earth, but now dark levels all. 899, no math skills needed. Puzzle pleasure for your entire family. Slowly, elbows on the table, scrutinizing him. As for him, he'd slumped into his chair, feet outstretched, all the way to mine, arms flopped on the table. Whatever his previous job had been, he had left, left it behind. Is it my turn? Yeah. Speedy. No time but felt like sub 48. The women also engage in particularly awkward or ungainly actions and what were at that time certainly forbidden activities. Gave mental phenomena a little scholastic color. During the months of arguments and disagreements, Fran and Perry had hurt each other's feelings countless times. Mm -hmm. While both regretted that they had hurt each other, I suggested they accept the fact that part of a loving relationship is conflict and that love means stuff is going to come up. Try, find, try to find repeatings. Try going over to other degrees of the scale. Try to go through the left hand and find higher voicings. Right hand, voice chords with melody. Thoughts on mental health from musician, painter, writer, plumber, 
and Carpenter, Thor Harris. Would rather whine and scream than swing. For Kant, although organisms are natural purposes because they are self-organizing beings, they are not free in as much as they self-organize according to a predetermined pattern inscrutable to us. Zoom. <laughs> Hired and facing toxin. Zoom. Opposed by the higher ups having fun in a liquid form. Blah. Your experience was impressive, and we definitely encourage you to check back for open positions in the future, both paid and volunteer. Stephanie. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with my microphone. Okay. Um, where is uh, worker bees and postmenopause women, for instance, though manifestly alive, are unable to reproduce themselves, leading to the inevitable conclusion that some essential characteristics of life are, it seems, less essential than others. It's the time of night when the water is never the temperature you need. I take a scalding bath to keep from sleeping. I adjust the tap and wait. I can't decide if a room full of steam fills faster than it drains. I use my fingers to write this on the bathroom mirror and consider the DNA of raisins. Well, to me, that's what love is. Not that anyone can understand me, though. Then she realized she was on all fours. What is a horse? It is freedom, so indomitable that it becomes useless to impression it to serve men. <laughs> uh, shin sore, looking good though, slow pace. The depth of his fascination is also evident in his prospectus. Anna Karov. Baby, everyone staring at me, sad face. Murray Thompson. Haha, all good, my friend. Smiley face. Robert's case illustrates how to overcome the subconscious urge to, to expect from your spouse what you got from your parents. B flat to D, C to E flat, E flat to G, F minor to A flat, reverse back down. 为了使初学者比较容易掌握，在大约一米以外处点燃一支蜡烛，把它吹灭。通常你会下意识地深吸一口气，这时的吸气往往是自然松弛的，并且是胸腹式相结合的。Introduction and transformation in the built environment. Gde da kreneš ovo strašno doba? Nemaš gde. This is your time, and I know you will make the most of this time in your life. Jose. I don't feel that I'm part of your fantasy of the future, and I don't like feeling like I have to convince you that I can or should be. Georgia voter included with this letter please find your military and overseas ballot package for the upcoming election this package includes a bandage connects two continents of skin lost footing on uneven pavement landing on my wrists i did not know my knee split adults take two gummies per day with food take a few hours or after taking other medication or natural health products? He stood sweetly aggressive, alone among the others, his heart beating deeply at intervals, feeling the world transform. Everyone knew the boy was taking advantage of Maria Angelica's money. Maria Angelica was the only one who didn't suspect. 
I think that's a good time to stop. <laughs> we did we three, did, wait, was that three full rounds or four? Three or four, but. <laughs> I can't remember, time doesn't work for me. Um, thank you all oh my for participating. <laughs>
AP lecture again, six to nine, 11 to two, exam one, three to eight, exam two, review morning, alpha, beta, lower limb, dermatome, anemia, enzymes, and all fractures. Thanks for jumping over to me. I'm so happy I saw you tonight. Honestly, I had so much fun. Love you both. We're going to get to this so great. You just watch the room. There's fireworks. Okay. <laughs> okay. Dan James. Thank you. 
Thank you.